Welcome back to Fox Recaps. Today I am going to explain the movie Mandibles, released in the year 2020. Manu is a simple guy who does small jobs for money. He was recently kicked out of his house and is currently living on a beach. One morning, he is approached by a frequent client, Lamouche. The man wants Manu to pick up a suitcase from a client named Michelle and deliver it to a businessman. Manu is told to deliver the goods by car, not look inside the suitcase, and not ask any questions about it. The work is sketchy, but Manu is too naive to understand the suitcase might hold something illegal. He agrees to do it for money, but the only problem is he doesn't own a car. When asked if he can deliver the goods by hand, Lamouche almost refrains from giving him the job. He strictly exclaims that no one can see the suitcase, so it has to be delivered by car. After the meeting, Manu leaves in search of a car to steal it. Only a few minutes in, he finds an old one and drives to his best friend, Jean Gab. He wants to include Jean Gab in the mission and hand him half of the money because he too needs it. The friends are on their way to the location when they hear a strange noise from the trunk. At first, they dismiss it as the car's old engine, but as the noise gets louder, they get nervous. Suddenly, the car stops in the middle of a deserted highway. When curiosity gets the best of them, they decide to open the trunk and take a look at what is causing the noise. To their surprise, they see a giant fly struggling to get up. The friends cannot comprehend how an insect can be so big, but they are at least interested in it. Manu closes the trunk because the fly staring at him made him uncomfortable. He wants to throw it out so they can make room for the suitcase they are about to receive. However, when he tries to open the trunk again, it gets stuck. While Manu panics about how they will complete the mission, Jean Gab thinks of a better idea. He suggests they quit the mission and focus on the fly. They can tame it and use it to steal money and food which would be worth a lot more than the 500 bucks Michel is paying them. The idea seems decent to Manu, so he quits the mission. Now they need to find a place to train the fly, which will be a problem since Manu stays on a beach and Jean Gab lives with his mother. They notice an old trailer nearby and plan to make it their own. However, an old man lives inside of it. Manu slyly engages him in conversation and knocks him out when he gets a chance. Following that, the friends tie him to an old barrel outside the trailer and take over it. They find food, some tools, and a gun among the man's belongings. They discuss how they have no use for the gun but still decide to keep it with them for safety. Using the tools, they open the trunk again and bring the fly out. They carefully wrap duct tape around the creature to keep it from flying away. The old man then offers them $3,000 if they agree to let him go. The friends do not doubt him and set him free. According to the stranger, he has hidden the money under a tree that is a few miles away. He and Manu drive away to retrieve it while Jean Gab takes care of the fly. On their way, Manu stops the car and looks for the gun underneath the seat. Taking the opportunity, the man runs away and disappears. Manu has to sadly return to the trailer with no money. In the meantime, Jean Gab has bought cat food with the little money they had. Manu is furious but his friend insists they have to feed the fly first so it can steal food for them. By the end of the day, the fly has eaten all the cat food they had and is still hungry. Having not eaten for an entire day, the friends are also starving. Hence, the next morning, they use the gun to threaten a stranger and make him buy groceries for them. After returning to the trailer, Manu cooks them dinner while Jean Gab trains the fly. He names it Dominic and gives it a toy as a reward for obeying his orders. The fly is obedient but it is still far away from being fully trained to steal food. While indulging in conversation with Jean Gab, Manu forgets about the food on the stove and accidentally burns it all. The fire gets out of control and takes over the trailer. Manu somehow runs outside with a pot of broth. By the end of the day, the trailer is completely burnt and the friends are left homeless again. They feed on broth and sleep inside the car for the night. In the morning, Manu wakes up on the ground. He had to shift in the middle of the night because the fly made a lot of noise. He is clearly not as enthusiastic as Jean Gab about taming it. They decide to sell their car for the money and buy a better one to drive and sleep in. However, when they try to drive away, it doesn't start. Manu thinks of an idea and uses a pony bicycle to drag the car to the dealership. On their way, they come across a group of youngsters. 
One of the girls, named Cecile, mistakes Manu for her school friend, Fred. She doesn't let him explain and invites him to their farmhouse where they're going on a vacation. On reaching the house, they leave Dominic in the car. Jean Gab is worried about her being alone, but Manu convinces him she will be fine. The friends, who were homeless some hours ago, now enjoy a drink by the side of the pool with pretty girls. Cecile's brother Serge doesn't like the fact that she has brought strangers to their house, but he doesn't voice his opinion. Cecile asks them to stay the night because they have two spare rooms anyway. Manu agrees without much questioning, while Jean Gab is still worried about Dominic. When asked who Dominic is, they claim that she is Jean Gab's cousin, who is waiting for them somewhere else. While showing them their rooms, Cecile brings out her school's yearbook and shows Manu the picture of a guy who looks just like him. He is surprised by the resemblance, but doesn't tell her he is someone else. During dinner, they're introduced to Cecile's sister, Agnes. She has a condition because of which she screams while talking. Cecile explains that Agnes had hit her head when she was little, which made her voice permanently loud. After dinner, Jean Gab brings the fly inside his room to train it. Manu goes to his designated room, but finds Agnes there. She kicks him out, assuming that he is hitting on her. Jean Gab also doesn't allow him to sleep in his room because he has to train Dominic at night. With no way out, Manu sleeps by the side of the pool. The next morning, Jean Gab is woken up by Agnes, who is suspicious that he is hiding someone in his room. When he insists he is alone, she tells him that she could hear him talk all night long. To hide the fact that he has a giant fly, Jean Gab says he has a dog in the room. Agnes threatens to tell her sister and get them kicked out since dogs are not allowed inside the house. Jean Gab quickly asks Manu to find a dog or else the secret about Dominic will be out. Manu goes around the block and finds a little stray puppy that he brings inside the house again. In the meantime, Agnes tells the others that the guys have a dog in their room. However, since she is always making untrue claims, they do not believe her. When she insists they check the boys' room once, the group reluctantly agrees. Manu shows them the dog and apologizes for not telling them about it. Cecile forgives him since the dog is tiny and won't do much harm. However, Agnes and Serge have started to doubt them. Following the commotion, Jean Gab shows Manu a new trick that he has taught the fly. She has started to walk and turn on his command. They are delighted by the results and believe that it won't take long for her to fetch food for them. Later, Manu and Jean Gab are playing in the pool like kids. Agnes, who is trying to relax, waits for them to shut up but gets more irritated with time. Back in their room, Dominic is alone with the puppy. She looks at the strange creature and attacks it. When the guys do not stop making noise, Agnes asks them to shut up and storms off inside the house. She tries going inside their room, but sees that the door is locked. Suspecting that they are trying to hide something, she unlocks the door with a hairpin and goes inside. When Dominic appears before her, Agnes freezes in shock. She yells at the top of her lungs, inviting the others. When they arrive, Dominic is missing and Agnes can hardly utter a word. They soon find out that the puppy is also missing. On seeing the leash he was tied with, Jean Gab figures that the fly ate the dog. The others assume that Agnes ate the dog and call the police on her. In the meantime, Dominic is outside drinking water from the pool. Jean Gab finds it and quickly hides it in the car before anyone can see them. Before being taken away to a hospital, Agnes speaks to Cecile. For the first time in years, she can speak in a normal voice. She tells Cecile about the giant insect, but Cecile doesn't believe her anymore. One of the officers is talking to the girls about the case when he recognizes Cecile as his old classmate. It turns out that he is the real Fred. He shows them a tattoo that he got during his school days. Cecile is speechless because that would mean that she had been living with two strangers for the past two days. Jean Gab hears them talk and immediately tells Manu to start the car. They run away along with the fly before anyone can arrest them for fraud. However, now they are at square one. Dominic still has to be trained for a few days for her to be able to work for them. So instead, they plan to continue their former mission despite being three days late. They drive to Michael's place, who happens to be a dentist. The guy is surprised that they arrived since he had been expecting them to come three days earlier. 
He hands them a tiny suitcase nonetheless and asks them to deliver it to a wealthy client. That evening, the friends reach the location and hand the suitcase to said client. In contrast to what they had expected, the suitcase has a pair of diamond-embedded veneers in it. They get paid for their service and return to train the fly yet again. A few days later, they wake up on a beach. Jean Gab is excited because the training with the fly has finally been completed. He gets a newspaper from a trash can and shows Dominic a picture of bananas. He hopes that the insect will get them the food after being let free. However, as soon as he unties the rope, Dominic flies away. Jean Gab hopes it will return soon, but Manu is not as optimistic. He claims that even if the fly doesn't return, they have each other to rely on. They will find a way to survive, one way or the other. Jean Gab agrees, but is still disheartened that his beloved pet left him. They get inside the car, ready to leave, when suddenly, a bunch of bananas fall on the hood, followed by Dominic. The friends look at each other in utter shock. Their plan has finally worked. That was all from the video. I hope you liked it. Subscribe for more content like this and hit the like button to help us out. Also, leave a comment if you want us to recap your favorite movie. Until next time, take care.